watch the breakdown. Guys, it's Younger Vester here, back with you with another video. All right, so today I'm going to be going over how to add the previous day close. The previous day close basically lets you know where the stock closed at the previous day. So if I added a trend line, right, the previous day close was right here. The candle it was a red candle, so the red candle we'll put it at the bottom because that's where it closed at. This will be the previous day close. Now, the previous day close is very important because most times the previous day close act as a support. We came down, back up, and then it broke the support, came back up, and now it's acting as a resistance. Wash and back out. Now, how do we automate this? People might ask, how do you automate the previous day close and have it on there automatically so you don't got to go there on the charts and look and see where the stock previous closed there from the previous day? So, if I wanted to automate this, I'm going to have to go up here to studies. All right, go to studies, go to edit or add studies, either one. You go right here to create. You got to go to create. All right, because the previous day close is not on here. Somehow it's not on thinkorswim. So we're going to right here to, to create. Click create. All right, in the link, I'm going to have, in the link, in the description, I'm going to have the code for you to enter this. So I'm going to insert the code. One second. I'm going to insert the code into this to show you guys how to add it. All right, here's the code. I just had to copy it. All right, here's the code. Right click, paste. So now I have the previous day close um, code down here, basically. And now I'm going to go up here and name it. I'm going to name it the PCD, but I already got it saved as that. So I'm going to name it the previous, the PC, the previous day close two, because I already got one on that's named as that. And then we're going to hit OK. And then uh, I'm going to hit apply. Now, one thing with the day close, when you do that, uh, basically, it's going to be all over the charts. Uh, so if I zoom out to the forward hour, the previous day close, uh, let me let me remove our trend line for you guys. Remove, clear the whole screen for us. All right, everything is removed. The, the previous day close is on every ending of the day. Now, that's too much for me. I don't know about you guys. So I like to have it for only the previous day. So I will click, I will right click the, this, the study, hit edit, or you could come up here and hit edit studies. Either one, it'll take you both to, to the same spot. You'll just click this little tool arrow, right? And now, um, show only last period. I'm going to hit yes, because I don't want it all over the screen. And you can also mess with the, the, the width of it, the style you want it, the color. I'm gonna, I, I like mine's white. So you can mess with the color, you can do all that. And now, as we see, I'm gonna hit apply. Now, okay, now I only see it for the previous day and it's gonna show you for the next day. So whatever the stock closed at, it's gonna, just gonna move. So now, I got it on my chart and I don't got it everywhere all over the chart. So that's the one one for me. And as you can see, this is what the previous close do. It acts as a support and a resistance, come back up, act as a resistance, washed out. That's how you can use it. It's a real good study. I'm going to make another video on it, basically going more in depth on how to use it. So stay tuned, and that's how you add the previous day close. I hope you guys have a good day. Back in, Beyond Investor.